Oh hi there, it's Linda here from Just For Tummies and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about, about why older women are more prone to urinary tract infections. Um, and a lot of it is down to hormonal changes. So um, I've made some notes here and I'm going to read these notes out to you. So changes in our anatomy. As we age, there can be changes in the, um, in the urinary tract. The, you know, the, the tissues can become thinner as we go through the menopause, certainly an estrogen begins to decline. This can cause um, thinning of tissues, not just on your face, <laughs> but internally as well. So the, uh, the, the urethra, um, the, that the pie that connects the bladder to the outside world, that can become thinner and then that can make it more prone to bacteria entering it and getting to the bladder and causing a UTI um menopause yes again menopause the decrease in in estrogen uh which can make um the urinary tract lining more susceptible to infections weakened immune systems as we age our immune systems can become weaker and that can predispose us more to developing a urinary tract infection not just um a bladder infection but an infection anywhere in the body which is why it's vitally important and I talk about this a lot about supporting the immune system um, through the um, the three or four decades of your life after after you've gone through uh, through the menopause um, because the immune system it tends to decline with age making us more vulnerable to infections we can have an issue as well. Women can have an issue with reduced bladder emptying. And this is because of a flaccid, I call it a flaccid baggy bladder. And the, the, it's a prolapse of the bladder, actually. So weakened pelvic floor muscles can, uh, can, can cause the bladder to prolapse because it's not got that good support from, um, from those muscles. And this can allow bacteria that's in the residual urine because you're not voiding, your, not fully voiding your bladder, you're not fully emptying your bladder. So the urine that's retained in your bladder can become concentrated and that can become a breeding ground for pathogenic strains of bacteria, including E. coli. And, and these can trigger a urinary tract infection. Of course, with, with older older individuals and not just women men too um, sometimes they have to catheterize their bladder because they're not able to empty their bladder naturally so they have to insert a very thin tube up the um, up the urethra into the bladder but of course this can be a source of infection and i'm sure anyone that does have to self catheterize um, they've been taught how to do it correctly so as to avoid um, introducing any bacteria into the bladder that, that may cause an infection. Also, older women um, may have uh, comorbidities like um, type 2 diabetes and neurological disorders that affect the bladder and its capacity to empty properly. Um, I've got a few more notes here as well. Oh, yes, of course. The older we are, the more likely we've been, we, we, we've taken antibiotics and broad spectrum antibiotics will decimate the levels of bacteria in your bladder as well as your gut, of course. But not just that, if you had several courses of broad spectrum antibiotics, because of um, the link between gut health and the immune system, antibiotics kill billions and billions of your friendly gut bacteria. And this may weaken your overall immune system and so make you more prone to urinary tract infections. So it's super, super important, again, to support your immune system and to certainly, certainly support your gut health and ensure that you're taking your daily probiotics um, to keep building those levels of friendly bacteria and maintaining those levels of friendly bacteria in your gut because these will in turn support your bladder health. Um, so I think that's about it. Yes, I've talked about aging affects the, uh, the gut microbiome, the, uh, the strains of bacteria in the bladder. Uh, 
um, the pathogenic ones can become the more dominant ones. Um, as with aging, the more um, friendlier commensal species of bacteria in your bladder begin to diminish. And when it comes to antibiotics, I need to say this, antibiotics are uh, pretty good at killing off friendly bacteria. Um, and they'll also, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, kill the bacteria that's causing the infection for what they were prescribed for. But um, pathogenic strains of bacteria, e, e. coli in particular, can be very resistant to antibiotics. So they just think, oh, antibiotics, another course of antibiotics, come on, throw them at me. And uh, they may not have any effect. So the balance of the bacteria in the bladder may be affected due to antibiotics and the more dominant strains become um, the more pathogenic ones. And so you get this um, cycle of, you know, constant urinary tract infections. Have I spoken about constipation? I don't think I have. Ever. <laughs> if you're getting constipated, um, then you, you, you've got to remember that um, your, your bowel, it's a tube, isn't it? And it's very close to your bladder. So if uh, if your bowel is getting full of impacted feces, it's uh, stretching it, expanding it, and it's pushing into your bladder, uh, reducing the bladder's uh, ability to empty properly. So again, we're going back to if you've got a flaccid baggy bladder, you can't empty it properly. And the same applies to if you suffer with constipation and that bloated um, bowel full of feces is pushing into your bladder and it's affecting its ability to empty properly. So urine is retained, that urine becomes concentrated. The bacteria in that concentrated urine can multiply very quickly and cause a UTI. So at all costs, um, fix your constipation if you want to fix your UTIs. So I think that's about it. I've covered quite a bit there. So, and I hope that helps. But if you've got any queries, if you're a, a lady that suffers with uh, recurring urinary tract infections, if you suffer with constipation or any digestive or gut issue, then don't hesitate to contact us and uh, we will help you or point you in the right direction to someone who can. <laughs> okay, thank you.